How you doing guys, Zane's Heavy Boxing Dosage here, back with another video and in this video I'd like to give you my prediction for tomorrow this weekend's upcoming boxing fight you know, it's going down in the super middleweight division it's Caleb Sweethands Plant versus Vincent Feigenboots Feigenboots, let me first start off with Feigenboots obviously he's the, he's the more well named fighter I must say but that don't goes that doesn't go to show what performance he'll face, you know, in the ring, what sort of opponent. Now Feigen Boots most of his career he's a well known German fighter. He's been fighting in Germany most of his career. Has fought a few times outside of uh, Germany, but most of his opponents are European level. They've never been on that level of elite super middleweights, you know, someone of the likes of Jose Uz Kategi. Andre Durrell. Um you know, none of them sort of names on his resume. Most of the opponents are credibly known in Germany, you know, not world level, you know, and um, you know pretty much what I've seen on Feigen of Feigen Boots, uh, he's a very powerful puncher, you know. He's very very, you know, Aggressive physically as well, very big for the super middleweight division. You know, I can almost see him moving up in weight. You know, um, he's only at the age of 24. You know, his boxing career is uh, at a record of 31 and 2, with 28 wins coming by way of knockout. So he has got power. But in this fight, you know, what I've seen of Vincent Feigen Boots is that. He likes to seek and destroy. He's a sort of fighter that uses his physical advantages to his benefit, you know. Um, doesn't have much else going for him, you know. But if he does get you hurt, he will get you out of there. He will knock you out, you know. So he can't be underestimated, you know. So overall, Vincent Feigen Boots is a decent fighter, you know. Um, a different sort of fighter that comes to fight, you know, doesn't look to go for the whole 12 rounds, enough to give the fans a knockout, so we can expect fireworks in this fight, but on the other hand, however, you know, Caleb Plant is a completely different fighter to the way Vincent Feigen boots is, so this, this matchup is going to be interesting, you know, styles make fights, you know, as mentioned in boxing, you know, so Caleb Plant is a boxer you know he's a boxer puncher sweet science you know that's why his nickname stands as sweet hands you know because he's got the fast fast hands you know i was about to say fast hands but i'd say fast hands you know what i'm saying <laughs> fast hands you know good good ring generalship good iq a great jab you know and once he shoots that jab straight to the body it zaps his opponent's energy like we saw in the jose uskategi fight Uskategi has a sort of similar style to the way Feigen Boots fight. You know, they both come forward aggressive fighters. And I think Caleb Plant has fought a sort of similar style that Feigen Boots brings to the table when he fought Jose Uskategi. And he dealt with that pressure the whole 12 rounds very, very, very professionally, I must say. You know, he's using his jab, using his movement. You know, he wasn't a standing target for Jose Uzkategi. Um And that's what Feigen Boots wants from his opponents. He's, he wants his opponents to stay in front of the pocket, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and trade with them. You know, and that's how Feigen Boots will win this fight. You know, other than that, Feigen Boots is not realistically a better fighter than Caleb Plant. You know, um, I just feel that Feigen Boots is a one-dimensional sort of fighter. You know, I haven't seen him using his boxing ability as much as Caleb Plant does. And, you know, ultimately, this is a boxing fight, you know, and Caleb Plant does what Caleb Plant does best, which is box, you know. So easily, I can see this fight being a fight where, you know, I'm giving Vincent Feigen Boots a bunch's chance, a puncher's chance. You know, that's his only way of winning this fight. If he can hurt Caleb Plant. And that's the big question in this prediction video guys. Can Feigen Boots hurt Caleb Plant? 
you know, anything can happen in the sport of boxing, you know, that's what, that's what we love ultimately, but realistically speaking, in this fight, Feigen Boots ain't got no chance, I think, you know, Feigen Boots is gonna be a one-dimensional di sitting duck, you know, um, due to the fact that he goes out for the knockout, and this is his first fight in America, you know, he's gonna will, he's gonna be willing to take that chance of getting the knockout, because he's verbally expressed it before this fight, Feigen Boots says only, only option is to go in there and try and knock out Caleb Plant, you know, um, Caleb, Caleb Plant's going to use his boxing ability, boxing IQ, um, the jab, the lateral movement, you know, the one-two combinations, hit and not get hit. And that's what's going to happen in this fight, you know. Um, I just see Caleb Plant pretty much easily outboxing. Um, Caleb Plant pretty much be, pretty much easily outboxing Vincent Feigen Boots, you know, in my opinion. You know, but... What will be interesting to see is if he can go out there and get the knockout. You know, Viking Boot, Viking Boots is definitely going to leave himself more vulnerable and open for the opportunities because he's going in there to look for the knockout. You know, which will give lots of opportunities for uh, Caleb Plant to land some meaningful punches. You know, and I think that's where Caleb Plant excels. You know, and I just feel. He may be able to get the knockout in this fight, you know. Um, the times that Vincent Feigen Boots has lost was twice in his career and he's been knocked out on two different occasions, on them both occasions, you know. Um, first of all, he got knocked out in his second fight of his professional boxing career and recently he got knocked out by uh, the Carolis, uh, a journeyman, a Eastern European fighter, you know. So I just feel that the competition level of Caleb Plant is going to be very different compared to Five and Boots. You know, um, the ability and boxing ability is going to be different as well. You know, Plant's faced better boxers, better fighters on his resume, and Five and Boots has not been in there with a fighter like Caleb Plant. So, in my final prediction, guys, I got Caleb Plant winning this fight. Um, either by late stoppage or unanimous decision. But I'm going to go with my gut feeling and I'm going to say Caleb Plant wins this fight by knockout, you know, in front of his hometown. And obviously it could go to points, you know, because he could easily outbox him, you know, but, you know, there's a big but. I think he's going to go in there look for the knockout, you know. Um, that's not his style, but I think the mild punishment the Feigen Boots is going to take in this fight or eventually, maybe I could see a scenario where the doctor or the referee goes inside and stops this fight because the amount of levels in boxing that this fight is pretty much a mismatch in my opinion. But you know, it's gonna be entertaining while it lasts. You know, so I got Caleb Plant winning this fight either by unanimous decision or a knockout as well. So you know, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You know. I'm finally predicting my final prediction. I'm going to go with Kelly Plant by knockout. You know, let me know if you think, you know, Feigen Boots stands a chance. I don't see it. I don't think so. So let me know, you know. As always, make sure you like, comment and subscribe for the best boxing breakdowns and predictions. Until the next video, Zane's every box and those that I'm out.